Hi, welcome, Simon here, and hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll be replacing a motherboard on an HP laptop. This is a motherboard replacement, and I'll show you the model here that says 0P5F, and this is the AMD CPU. All right, let's go ahead and identify the model here. Take a look at the back of my laptop. It says HP Laptop 15, and that is EF2040. All right, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I need to do is to remove the plastic here. This rubber stopper prevents from the computer sliding off, and there are hidden screw underneath that plastic. So just pry it open, save the plastic on the side, the rubber on the side, because we're gonna reuse that in just a second. You wanna do the same for the top and the bottom. Next step, get a Phillips screwdriver. We'll be removing all the screws here. You're gonna pay attention to the screws. On the top right, it's a different screw compared to the one here right in the middle. And the top left screw is just black as well. And there are three screws at the bottom. Let's go ahead and pry the uh, back cover open. So what I like to do is to go underneath, so to kind of go underneath the, uh, the palm rest and the back cover. So in between that gap here, I'm gonna stick it in. Try to pry it open. Once you have removed the back cover, you can now see the internal part of your laptop. Okay, and this is the motherboard we're going to replace. So first we need to definitely remove some of the, uh, the component like the RAM, the hard drive, the Wi-Fi, the CPU fan, everything needs to be transferred over. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. First thing first is to disconnect the battery. I'll be removing the battery here. Okay, once you have removed the battery, and just remove the battery by lifting it straight up. And that's how you disconnect and remove the battery. Next, we're going to remove the M.2 drive. Slide to your right at about 45 degree angle. Let's go ahead and disconnect some of the cable. Make sure you open up that clipper. Slide the LCD cable away. And this is the clipper for the USB port on the side. And that is your DC jack connector. So slide it to your right. That is the uh, CPU fan connector. You want, what you want to do is just lift it straight up. You probably can lift the uh, CPU fan in a position because I don't think the motherboard has anything to do with the CPU fan at this point. But we do need to remove the CPU heatsink. The new motherboard does not come with it. and I just kind of pry it open, okay? Remove the RAM, pushing the boot clipper on the side and then slide it off to your, to your right. This is the um, Wi-Fi card. 
what you want to do is probably make a label of it so that I know here the bottom cable with the with the pen on it we know the cable is for the bottom and that is for the top because the color are the same so it's hard to differentiate it and this is your speaker connector you can just lift it straight up that's how you just connect it and remove the Wi-Fi card and transfer it over to that new motherboard all right this is the uh, keyboard lighting so open up the clipper that is for the keyboard slide it out and we're going to remove the motherboard that's one screw two three there are five screws total this fourth and oh actually six fourth fifth and six on the very top here and seven That is the uh, broken motherboard and here comes the replacement of it what I like to do is to make sure I slide it in here and make sure all the cables are sitting above the motherboard okay now we're gonna put the screws back together miss one of the cable which is the CPU fan cable it gets stuck underneath so let's take the thing out okay So for those of you who are interested to replace the motherboard and not sure where to find them, please go ahead and check the link down in the description below. I'll probably link it to either Amazon or eBay where you can find a replacement motherboard. More likely the motherboard might not be brand new because it is hard to find a brand new motherboard. So you'll be getting probably a used or refurbished ones. <clears throat> And then to install the Wi-Fi connector, make sure that the connector is um, sitting on top of it. Here comes the CPU fan connector let's go on top of the uh, the motherboard the LCD screen DC jack connector the USB cable on the side M.2 
M.2 drive. keyboard and that is the back lighting for that keyboard trackpad touchpad the RAM I'll apply some of the thermal paste here Don't have much left, just a little. Let's install the battery. Okay, I'm going to have the back plate reconnect them back together. Just going to press it down. We have the two screws here. Okay, you want to retape that rubber stopper. Okay. That should be it. The reason why I changed the motherboard is because the uh, the old motherboard, if you want to take a look at the uh, connector here, that CPU fan connector was broken. Therefore, I was getting an error message that says that the CPU fan is not detected. So that was the reason why I'm gonna rechange it. So there you go, um, it turns on. It shows the bio screen and uh, should be all set. We just have to let the computer do its thing 
and hope this video is helpful and if you do find the video is helpful please go ahead and smash the like button uh, subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching until next time bye now